How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Welcome to another episode of Don't Buy It, You Don't Need It. This is a series where I go through a whole bunch of different products and then I offer you ways to think about things so that you don't buy them after all. The effect of this is that you'll end up not buying certain things and this will in turn help you reduce your expenditures and also increase your net worth. Now, as I said before, you may actually have very good reasons to buy a certain item. I'm just offering you ways to think about it so that you don't buy them. For example, I talked a lot about not buying the iPhone 10. However, you might be a developer developing apps for that phone and this is maybe a tool of the trade for you. So in that case, of course, you need this item and it's very well justified. Today's episode is gonna be about kitchen gadgets. I picked up this flyer recently in the mail and I looked through it and I'm like, wow, I don't really want any of this stuff. So it got me thinking that, well, this way of thinking, if I uh, put it in a video, that maybe you can uh, also think of things this way and also not want these random products that are you know pretty expensive and just generally a waste of your money. The first item is a brining bag. My first thought is why do you even need a brining bag? Why don't you just use a big enough pot and just stick the turkey in there? That's what most people do. You don't need to pay $5 for a plastic bag. The second item is world market brine. It's just a whole bunch of spices and stuff inside. Um, I'm sure you can cobble up, you know, something just as good. It's mostly salt, I think. Um, so therefore you see this big weight package, right? And you think, oh, it's pretty heavy, so it's worth it, but it's mostly salt. Um, because of that, you're, pro you're paying $6 for mostly salt is really, really not worth it. The next item is a food chopper. This is a manual food chopper now, not even an automatic one. Now, for a manual one, you have to uh, end up, you know, pushing it a couple of times and you're sure it'll save you a minute or two. But at the end, after you do that, it won't save you time when you have to go and clean this chopper thing. So uh, better to just know how to use your knife. You just slice it a couple of times and then um, diagonally and then vertically and there you go. You can chop it yourself just with a knife. You don't need a $20 tool that is plastic and this thing looks like it will break too, you know, after, I don't know, four or five years of use and you can just use a high quality knife and that thing will last you a lifetime instead. The next item is a mandoline. Uh, well, okay, you might have some uses for this because sometimes you might want to cut things very thinly and all very equally uh, uh, thick. However, being $60 for this plastic gizmo, um, to me, it looks like it should be you know, worth more like $20 or something. I, I cannot see why it's $60. It should have been motorized or something uh, to charge that much. Being Thanksgiving soon, you're gonna have a roasting pan. Sure, you can have a roasting pan, but you know what I use? I just use a regular, one of those uh, Pyrex pans. You know, I, I'm pretty sure everyone has some sort of pan that's like, you know, maybe an inch and a half tall and you can just as well use those. You don't absolutely need a roasting pan that's like two, three inches tall just to roast your turkey. Precision digital leave-in thermometer. You don't really actually need this. Whenever you buy a turkey, you have those little pop-up thermometers or you have um, the ones where you stick into the thigh and you don't have a little wire coming out or anything. You just leave it in there and it works just as well. You can just as well buy one of those little dial ones. Um, those work really, really well actually and I've used them to make really, really juicy turkeys. You just stick them right next to uh, the meat of the thigh and I think they run for like about seven, eight dollars for those things instead of forty dollars. The next thing is a roasting rack and it looks like they want you to stick this um, inside a tray and put this on top so that the air can get underneath. Well, this little trick that you can do is you have two racks in your oven. What you can do is just place your meat right on the top rack and then you put your roasting tray right underneath uh, to catch all the drippings and right there you have a roasting rack without buying anything. The next item is a cutting board with juice well. Well, I actually might need something like this actually because I have a cutting board but uh, I don't. it does not have this juice well thing uh, to catch all the juice but I'm doing just fine without a juice well cutting board uh, because if it gets, you know, kind of puddly, you know, I just kind of push everything off to the side um, into the sink. So you don't necessarily need this. Um, $30 is on the high end for a cutting board in general. I think they would should be going for like $20, $25. The next item is a knife sharpener. And by the way, this thing does have a $5 off coupon whenever you buy something. So 
all of this stuff, perhaps you just minus $5 if it's over $15. But note that one of these items is $14.99 right here. So if it's $14.99, you can't use this $5 off coupon. So you really need to go and hunt for you know, like a $1 item. The next item is a knife sharpener and it's $50. And I'm like, oh my gosh, why would I stick my really good knives into this like kind of grinder type thing that's going to ruin my knives? I feel like this thing is just gonna chew it up. All a knife sharpener is one of these things. One of these sharpener stone costs a few dollars in Chinatown. So you just go to like a, a Asian market and they would sell these for really cheap. And it has two sides to these things. One is the rougher side, one is the finer side. And basically you just stick your knife, wet this thing, and then you just kind of drag your knife at an angle and you're going to uh, sharpen your knife just as well as this thing, which is basically this thing in little circle wheels and then they add a motor to it and then just kind of, it would be like whirling around uh, as you stick your knife there. So you don't need motors to do this. You can just as well sharpen your knife manually and it's really, really quick. It's like, you know, couple minutes and you can do it and you don't sharpen your knives all that much often. Anyway, um, I think I've used this, you know, just once or twice with um, my uh, J.A. Henkel's Willing because they're really sharp anyway. You don't really need to use this to grind metal off. Most of the time you use this little stick um, the sharpening stick, which is not really a grinding thing. It just kind of straightens the edge on your knife uh, so that it becomes sharp and, and it does work. Microscopically, the edge of the knife just kind of like got bent and then it's just making that straight again. If you keep on grinding your knives, your really good knives especially, it's gonna like thin out. It's gonna get smaller and smaller as you use it. So um, you use this as a last resort where your knives is uh, not so sharp and then you start grinding them. The next item is yet another roasting pan for $15. One time I bought a really cheap uh, pan for a cheesecake and apparently I used it once or twice and the bottom started flaking. It was one of these cheaper ones and by the time it started flaking, I could not return it anymore. So watch out for these really cheap items where the non-stick surface might just flake off. And you know, once it starts doing that, you basically can't use it anymore because you don't want to eat that stuff. There's a $130 Ninja 4-in-1 AccuTemp cooking system with auto IQ recipes. So it looks like some sort of a slow cooker or maybe fast cooker. I'm not sure how fast that would be, but $130 sounds uh, a bit you know, crazy. Uh, you can buy one of those Instapot thing for $60 these days, I think. Uh, you don't really need all these controls over here. This is just nuts. I know it has like a timer and everything, but uh, for a slow cooker, you don't really need a timer because, you know, you set it. Uh, basically, slow cooking, it's very um, easy on the meat. You can like cook it for like six hours or 10 hours or 12 hours and it would all taste the same anyway. Next, you have this 20 pound extra large electric fryer. You don't need a fryer that you're only going to use once a year to fry your turkey. Um, $130 just sitting there just so that you can fry your turkey. Um, it's not quite worth it. And I personally think um, if I'm gonna make a turkey, I'm just gonna stick it in the oven. I don't even need um, any special tools uh, whenever I'm making a turkey. You just dress your turkey, you gotta put butter in between the skin and the meat and you gotta season it there. Don't just season it on the outside. You gotta get in between the skin over there and stick it on a pan. You don't even need a roasting pan. And off you go. You just bake it. Make sure you cover the breast uh, so that it doesn't get uh, too brown. Remove it halfway, et cetera, et cetera. Three and a half, four hours or so. Gel Pro Elite Comfort Mat for $120? Are you kidding me? A mat for $120? $20. I think I've seen some of these mats, you know, something bigger than this size even uh, at Costco. And I think they were going for, I don't know, 30, 40 dollars, maybe 60 even, but 120. I'm, you know, very, very sure it was not 120 for one of these gel mats. Silicone quilted pot holders. Now these aren't too expensive. It's only nine dollars. And I assume if you don't have pot holders, and I feel like most people have pot holders, um, then sure, you can finally buy this thing. I'm not too sure how good the silicone is because uh, having silicone on there, if it's a really thin layer, if you after you use it for a while, it might just, you know, tear. 
once it tears, then uh, you know it's done for. You you have to replace this um, pot holder thing. So I think I've ragged on about this ad long enough. I'm like looking through all this, and you can imagine if you sit next to me and you you're looking through stuff, I can always give you a reason why you should not buy something. Don't forget to give me a like on this video, comment down below. Let me know if these tips and tricks helps you not buy certain items that I highlighted. If you're interested in supporting my channel, check out my Audible link down in the video description below where you can get a free audiobook. And if you get this audiobook for free, um, you can keep this audiobook for life basically. And if you cancel it before the subscription expires, you can still keep, keep this audiobook. And doing this process, you will help out this channel even if you cancel it. I also have a Patreon over here where I give perks such as help with your credit score or help with your finances. And I do plan on making a home tour for my Patreon members very, very soon. I need to get over this cold quick and I have a whole bunch of videos that's kind of backed up. Let me do those first and then um, I'll get to this house tour very quickly. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel over here and click that bell icon next to that subscribe button so that you get a new notification whenever I upload a brand new video. Thanks for watching.